So One UI 6 has just kind of officially came out in a beta form. So I want to go and talk about some of the difference between One UI 6 and One UI 5 and see which specific version of software is the better one. Now, clearly One UI 5 is probably the one I would recommend people to keep right now. But One UI 6 is bringing a lot of cool features and I'm actually really, really excited about it. The big thing that I want to hit on though is actually with the icons and the labels for them. So it looks like the app icon, the labels of them are now actually limited to a single line. So it looks a little bit nicer. So before things like Galaxy and Samsung, those specific like words have been removed from the app names and they actually look a lot cleaner and a lot better now. So that is a really, really big thing that I actually do like. And before with a lot of these other apps, it would always be like, you know, Google Drive or YouTube. YouTube is fine, but like Google Drive, Google Sheets. I think Google limited those names now to just like the first names and it was really nice. So now I'm glad Samsung did it too. They actually went through and changed up the font a little bit as well. So now within One UI 6, the font is a little bit nicer. So that is a really cool thing going on for these specific devices too. So now there's a little bit of a change in font, but you can always change it back to whatever other font color and font you know you want. But that's another really cool thing that we have going for it with these devices too. Now, another cool thing is that the emojis within our keyboard has actually changed up a little bit. So now if you wanted a little bit of a change in terms of your specific like emoji style, that's now been changed slightly within One UI 6. So that's another really cool thing we have going for it. But I think the biggest change is probably with the quick panels. So we all know that if you swipe down from the status bar twice, you get into your quick panels, your quick toggles. But now within One UI 6, they actually changed this up quite a bit. So One UI 6 now has a new type of layout panel. So it does look slightly different than what it was before, which I think actually looks really nice. I think they're going to change this up a few more times here and there, but it is actually a really nice looking thing. But just like with iOS, if you swipe down from the top right corner, it brings you straight into your quick panels. Some other Android phones have had this too. And even Android tablets, I think, have this too. But now within One UI 6, it is a built-in feature. So if you swipe down from the top right, you now get into your quick panels, which honestly, like I said before, is a really, really cool feature. And just like before, you could go ahead and change your brightness and change everything else like that. So it gives you a lot more capability from that standpoint, in my opinion, which is honestly another really cool thing going on for these devices as well. Now, on top of that, the lock screen is probably going to get some changes here and there as well. So they do mention that you're going to have a little bit more freedom to actually move your clock position as far as I can tell on that lock screen. So that should be something that Samsung is going to be addressing and improving here and there as well. So that's another really cool thing going on with these devices too. And there's going to be a lot of other changes here and there as well. But One UI 5 still maintains a lot of features that we kind of talked about, you know, for years and years and years now. One UI, One UI 5 still has, you know, a lot of features built in that are going to be on One UI 6. They're still going to, be, I mean, One UI 6 is built off of One UI 5. So the few features that we mentioned here, there's a couple of, you know, cool things and nice to have features. But I think One UI 5 still brought a lot of stuff to the table. And I'm still actually very, very happy about One UI 5. I think it's holding up very well. And especially with the customizing that we have that came on One UI 4, I think that stood the test of time for many versions of Android now. And I'm actually very, very happy with the way One UI 5 has kind of, you know, aged up and gotten, you know, better and better. So now within One UI 6, it's more or less the same thing. And I'm pretty sure within One UI 6, we're still going to be, you know, in a good situation. It's still going to be a good time. But One UI 5, I think, is still the one I would recommend most people to keep installed. Don't upgrade from One UI 5 just yet. But very soon, once One UI 6 actually comes out in a, you know, official beta, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be installing it because it looks like a pretty good update. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.